Give me a um, good result in uh, the second round of the Scottish Cup against Lanark. 5-2. Um, we should, have, we should have taken the whole game. Yeah, I actually thought we started quite sloppily. And I said that to the boys, we started slack. And we, it was almost as if we were trying to force it. We were playing one touch passes when it was on to take it in. And I think when we found our foot in the game, we created so many chances today. I think if we had scored, I mean, I mean chances, I mean clear cut chances. We scored five, I think we could have scored two or three more, you know, really, really good chances. But um, on the whole, I'm happy because we scored five goals. Disappointed to lose the two goals that we do, but you know it's a cup tie. We're, we're, uh, we're in the next round, and that's, that's important. Early in the game, um, obviously we just seen the big keeper from Lanark. Yep. Um, he's got a point blank save and then an R save yep. um, quite early in the game. So I think Colin Slater's um, sort of ruined letting him go before no, the Scottish think, Cup. Or? I think I think as a club, Lanark have kind of he's been good for Lanark at times as well. So. Um, and he's came in, and, as you mentioned, two two big saves for us. Two big saves. He did it last week as well at Peter's Hill. Came in and um, it, it won one. I think he, he did an unbelievable save, an unbelievable save. So that's, that's what he's there for. We'll, we'll give him the credit, but we'll know not too much. So, uh, he gave us a platform to go and build in the game, and we need at that point in time at now now we, we needed to, uh, just a wee bit of time to get, our, get ourselves together. And once we did that, I thought we were good. Some of our moves, especially towards the end, were deserved goals, but. As I say, we're going to win. Oh, just be happy to win the next round against a good team. I think when the draw comes out, I think everybody would ex maybe expect it to beat because we're in the league higher. I know how good a team we are, and uh, it's got almost going to be a, a difficult game. And that's what they came here and made it really hard for us. I know they had one or two of their, their players missing, so uh, I'm happy to be through and, and, and a good result. Good. And it's nice to see your top strength force back at Gigsy and. Um, Gary and both of them get three goals between all good goals as well. I thought my front five, I thought John Jamie Leslie and yeah, the two wide boys did well, obviously with TJ Dillon off at half time. Um, and, and the two strikers, I thought going forward we looked a real threat, especially second half. First half maybe not so much, but you know, the, two, the two boys on the side did really well, created good chances. As I say on a hard day we could have scored one or two more, but the main thing is that we've won the game and we're, and we're through and you know, start to hit a bit of momentum, we've obviously won last week as well, so um, I think we've only lost one in the last five or something like that now, so we're, we're starting to, to get a wee bit of momentum and start to build results, so hopefully we can take that into the campaign again. Um, just talking about Jamie Leslie there, we had him and, um, and Martin Shields, possible man of the matches, um, in the last minute of the game, Shields he misses a point blank one, there's no way he's getting man of the match and um, Jal just shows him how to finish it, so Jamie Leslie, nice to see him getting back in about it as well, being man of the match as well. He must I thought, thought he was great, I thought his energy second half was brilliant, but I thought throughout the game um, Martin Shields was a, absolutely brilliant, you know, he's up against a, a very, very good young right back, um, but he, he continued to take him on and create chances for us, so, you know, I've went the other way, I thought, I thought Martin was, was brilliant, but um, now, listen, oh, over the whole team, we, we changed it a bit with Gary McMullen at right back and, and put Kevin back in. We brought Gary Arbuckle back in just off his holiday, so it was a couple of wee risks to, to change it. We left Barry and Deco, but a couple of wee risks, but uh, it's worked out well for us. We've got the results, so, um, and everybody's came off. Dylan, we'll see how Dylan is tomorrow or whatever. But uh, other than that, we've come through it well. Good. And back to league action next week? Yeah, I think I've just been told that the Craig Mark game is off today, so. Not sure who we're playing now, but uh, hopefully we've got a fixture because I say we've got a bit of momentum right. um, and we're looking to, look to push on and build on that. Uh, I think the, first, the day is the first time all season I've had a, a full squad to choose for, so uh, people left out of squads and stuff, which is difficult, but it's a good problem to have. Good. Okay, Jim, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.